Hello church, it's uh, good to be with you again. We're going through the book of Hebrews as part of our devotionals this week and uh, I'm in chapter 2 and uh, we're looking at verse 5 and right to verse 18 today and and what is so exciting in the first couple of chapters of this book is, is he's really making so much of Jesus and exalting Jesus and, and make sure that we understand that this is not just another angel or even a good man. He is so superior to whatever and whoever we've ever seen or who we have ever met. So right here in chapter 2, and I'm going to rely on you to read this passage at home um, and so on. But he starts by saying that, you know, there's a future world to come in, in, in verse 5. There's a future world to come. And this world is not going to be subjected to angels. It's going to be subjected to the Lord Jesus Christ. Because obviously they're looking at Jesus at the moment as a man who died, rose again. And, and so, so the writer is making sure that they understand he is not an angel or lower than an angel. He's much higher, much bigger than an angel. And the future will be, will be subjected to the Lord Jesus Christ. Verse 8 says, everything, absolutely everything, was put under his feet. Nothing that has been made will not be subjected to him. And as all as now, obviously, that is already happening because Christ is at the right hand of the Father. So um, for a while, Jesus was made a little bit lower than the angels while he was on earth. He, uh, he was like a man, like you and me. And, and so he, um, he, he was a little bit for a while. But now, since his death and his resurrection, he is crowned with glory and honor. And, and he's at the, at the uh, right hand of the Father. He's in heaven. So he's back to his original place as God the Creator, uh, the Son of the living God. Um, and angels are subjected to him and not the other way around. All right. Then it goes on here. In verse 10, it says that he is the author of salvation. Now, it's interesting that that word author means the originator or the founder of salvation. So we're asking the question, what does this passage say about God? So that's what I'm answering. Is the author and the founder of um, salvation. And this founder, this Lord Jesus Christ, came down to earth to share in our humanity. Now look at the reason from verse 14 onwards. He is sharing in our humanity so that he could identify and no one of us will have an excuse. You could identify with everything, including our temptations that, he, uh, uh, that, that we go through. So he went through the suffering and the temptations in order to identify with us and so to destroy the power of Satan uh, over us in this life, all right? So um, he was made like us for a little while uh, as human beings, like us for a little while, so that he might be proven faithful and also merciful. So that's a good point to understand. Jesus was made man to be merciful to us. So what does it speak about human beings? What does it say to you and me about human beings? Well, First of all, that God bestows a tremendous honor on us uh, in verse 6, 7, and 8. A tremendous honor to make us just a little bit lower than the angels. What an honor bestowed on us as human beings. And through the suffering of the Lord Jesus Christ, uh, he brought us into a relationship with him. It speaks about us becoming the sons of God, sons of glory, sons of God, which is amazing. Uh, and we have a, a savior and a father who's merciful to us because he has been able to identify with what ha we have gone through. So let me end this, this, this devotion by saying to you that he doesn't always take us out of our suffering or our difficult situations. But what he does do is he takes us through those because he has been there. And like I've said before, God did not take him out of his suffering. God took him through. And the same for us as human beings. Father, we thank you so much that there is so much of Jesus in these first two chapters of the book of Hebrews. He is superior. He is great. He is awesome. He is the author of salvation. He is the one who, uh, who will, the, the future of the, of the new world that we will go into. Uh, all, it's all in his hands. He maintains everything by his powerful hand. And we thank you that he identifies as our high priest 
with our suffering, with our pain, with our temptations, and that he will take us. Jesus, you will take us through anything and everything that we have to face here on earth. We thank you for your mercy. In Jesus' name, amen. Thank you.